Okay, here's how you quickly edit um, the mobile menu. Remember to access the mobile editor. Here's the desktop version. In this top right area, there's a little icon that looks like a mobile phone. If you click on this, you can choose Edit Mobile View, and this will bring you into the mobile editor. Here you can reorder everything that's on your desktop. You can reorder it here by uh, increasing or decreasing the size of fonts. You can hide elements so you can simplify things for mobile. You can, of course, click and drag and, and move them around in any order you want, just like you can with any other uh, desktop editing features. Uh, the thing I'm reviewing today is the mobile menu. There are some different features, and I ran into a problem where I couldn't figure it out why it was uh, looking the way it was. So I want to show you how to, to edit this and change the style of it. So when you click on it, as with all things in Wix, uh, this little sub menu comes up. The design icon is the little brush icon. I click on that and that's going to take me to my themed area. Now if I want to customize this design, this little check mark means this per this custom design was chosen. I can also choose any other ones um, from here. But I'm going to choose this one and then I'm going to click on custom design. Make sure when you're rolling over these it doesn't select one of those before or you don't actually select one before you click on customize design. Um, but you select the one you want and then go down here and click on customize design. This is going to bring you into the editor that shows how things work. And this is one thing that I thought was kind of tricky. Um, for some reason, one of my client websites, I had this one, let's see if it, it doesn't tell us what it is, but it's basically a scrolling menu. Um, so when it opens up, it actually doesn't show all the items in the menu. See how there's a little, uh, scroll bar here. Um, this is a horrible one, unless you only have a couple items in your menu, because there's always going to be stuff hidden and it's just hard for people on phones to scroll and use this type of menu. In my opinion, um, there's also other options like coming out from the side, uh, which these are kind of nice because they're tall, so that's nice. And then you can also see the website behind it. And then there's also a drop down that has like boxes that you can adjust. And of course, all of these things, you can adjust any of these uh, settings here. Um, well, this isn't a very good example, but you could change the color background. You can change the opacity. You can change all these sorts of things here. Um, you can also use this one, which opens as the full page. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that there's a lot of different options, layout options here in this area for the menu. So choose wisely. Make sure that you don't use this one that's cutting things off because I would, again, it's just really hard for users to use on a phone. Um, so unless you have two or three, four items, I wouldn't, I wouldn't use that one. Uh, some of these other ones, though, are pretty nice options. So um, I think I probably like, I had this one set up, but I think I'm going to actually go with... Uh, this side one, because I think that's kind of nice and uh, lets you see what's behind it a little bit better. Um, and then, of course, when you're done, hit publish. Uh, if you want to move this around, you can always move it to anywhere you want. Uh, as long as it's in the header, it will appear on all your pages. And uh, that's about it. So good luck uh, editing your mobile menu. Let me know if you have any other questions. Visit picklewix.com for lots more Wix tips.